Who doesn't not like victims? I mean, people that victimize themselves just so that way they can be the innocent one. Isn't that just irksome? The last time that you got into an argument with somebody, whose fault was it? Probably theirs. After all, they were the ones that started it, not you. You were just defending yourself. Okay, their fault. Fair. How did it make you feel? Did it make did what they say or what they did make you feel like you had to defend yourself because you don't stand for that BS? Because it's not right that what they said or what they did? Okay, what were they actually telling you about? Was it a political issue? Was it a hot button topic issue? Was it about pride? Was, what, was it about politics? Was it about religion? What, what was it about? What was the topic that the last time you got into an argument with somebody, what was the reason for? Maybe they kept teasing you. Maybe they keep telling you things. I don't know. But the point of this little self-reflection course is to make sure that you identify whether or not they are really the ones that are at fault for the argument, or maybe if you're the one that's at fault and you're just placing the victim on them, even though it could be you. Because it really does seem like these days, a lot of young men are very, very quick to react, but they're slow to act. So what do I mean by this? Let's dive a little bit deeper into this. So quick to react. If I were to tell you, you don't want to do what you know what must be done. You don't want to start the entrepreneurship that you've been thinking about. You don't want to start up the game that you've been thinking about. You don't want to finish the, you don't want to get the new PR set that you've been thinking about. You think about a lot of things, but you don't actually act and do a lot of things. How would you feel about that? Already there's comments coming down. Okay, relax. How did it make you feel? Okay, I said it. Does that mean that I actually believe it? Does that mean I'm trying to convert you into something? Does that mean I'm trying to engage you? Does it mean I'm trying to get you to react? What does it mean? You know, just because I'm saying something, that doesn't mean that it's immediately a threat or immediately a call of action. People are still gonna criticize me. They're still gonna come after me and say, this guy is a misogynist and blah, 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 blah. Nobody's gonna dig deeper than the one comment. And then they're gonna leave. They're not even gonna get, get to this part of the video. They are not gonna get to this part of the video. So you must have at least a pretty open mind. So let's dive a little bit deeper about being slow to act. Being slow to act is of course the opposite of being quick to react. Based on me saying that, am I the victim? Are you the victim? Was what I said actually worth arguing over? I just said something that doesn't mean that I'm stating anything or questioning anything or demanding anything. But the way that you take in information and react to the information is key to avoiding a lot of these unnecessary conflicts that you will tend to find yourself in, either at school or work or college or at, the, at public places or anything. Maybe in online spaces with your online friends. Let's do another little victim victimization experiment. If I told you that the reason that you're not where you want to be right now is because you're lazy, lack motivation, and aren't ambitious, how does that make you feel? How does it make you feel to let to know that the reason that you're not where you need to be, where you expect to be, where you thought you would be, is because of your own take? It's your fault your actions, your laziness, your lack of motivation. If that's kind of rustling your jimmies right now and it's giving you a tight jaw, what are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna argue with me in the comments? Are you gonna tell me that I'm, that I'm wrong, that you're just an entrepreneur, you're waiting for the right time, you're not willing to risk losing everything that you have, you don't wanna risk losing your apartment or your career, okay? So what? What is telling me these excuses of why you're not where you want to be? What is telling me these excuses going to do for you? Are you going to keep watching this video and then hop on to the next video? Or are you actually going to do something? Are you going to start anything up?
So the, the point I'm trying to drive home is, how do you feel about these extreme topics? If you felt pretty indifferent, you probably don't have a victimization mindset. But if you actually got heated and had a pretty tight jaw over the fact that I was saying a couple of things, more than likely, a lot of the times, you're probably actually the victim and you want to place the victim card on somebody else, even though it's you. You've become a victim of yourself because of others around you. So how can we get out of this little victimization hole? Well, it all starts with accepting accountability, accepting the fact that you need to actually get off your ass and do something. Really, it just starts with really basic stuff. To get out of the victim mentality mindset is something that doesn't just fix itself overnight or with one wrong decision. Because humans are very primal creatures. We are very naturally inclined to be upset and angry over something that we don't like. Because when we show our negative emotions to something that we don't like, we let others know that this thing is a potential danger and hazard. So avoid it. We need to reframe your mindset so that you don't get offended. You don't feel like you're the victim of certain debates or conversations or topics. And this is a very, very slow process. It's not something that fixes itself overnight. Your brain can't just rewire itself overnight. It's something that requires you to willingly go into hostile, opposing environments kind of bathe and lather in them a little bit and everything, you know, kind of give it a little taste. For example, I'm, I'm a very heavy capitalist. I love capitalism. I love being able to work hard for the money that I have. I love being able to put forth effort and get the value of the effort that I put in. But there are certain other channels that I watch for opposing views that I disagree with for the sole purpose that I get a bigger view of the picture. Second Thought, for example, is a channel that leans on the heavy left about socialism and things like that. There's a couple different left-leaning channels that I've subscribed to just for the differing viewpoints. But my main point of this is that in order to get out of the victimization mindset, if you do have a victimizing mindset, is that it requires many, many months of actual dedicated work of you putting yourself in uncomfortable situations and not immediately getting triggered right off the bat that something made you angry. It's marinating in how you feel, recognizing the trigger of why you feel that way, and then coming to terms with the fact that even though I feel this way, I understand this other person's viewpoint, so I'm not going to get upset over it because that's their belief. That's their thing. That's not my thing. And actually, a prime example of this is when me and my friend were debating each other, which I'll leave a link up here and in the description below about we were debating poly polygamy versus monogamy. My point is, is that I'm able to have that debate with him because him and I think so differently, because we have such opposing views on a lot of issues. But he still remains to be one of my best friends to this day because he does hold me accountable and he does make sure that I'm good. Same with me with him. If you do have a victimizing mindset, work on it, get better, lean into stuff that makes you uncomfortable, digest that discomfort, and become a better person. If you feel this message resonated with you, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, as well as share this video with other people you think need to hear this message. Is there somebody you know that has a victimizing mindset and maybe they need to think about it further? Go ahead and send them this video. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I really hope that you take good care of yourself and you have a wonderful day.